good morning everyone welcome back to the channel this is fishing with los my name is carlos for those who are new to the channel well i'm out here at the causeway getting ready to do some sheep's head fishing again it's a incoming tide uh, it's not as cold as it was the past couple days ago a few days ago was in the low 40s so it's it's a little bit warmer so hopefully these sheep's head will uh, cooperate and start biting yeah this is my spot for the day so i'm only here for a couple hours and after that then i gotta go to work and maybe come back tomorrow so all right guys uh give me a few minutes and i'll be right back with you okay what i'm doing right now i found all these muscles so what i'm doing is i'm crushing them and using it as chum so hopefully hopefully these sheeps will you know hopefully it'll attract these sheep's head okay my first bait mud crab i'm using today my pin pursuit 4 3000 nice little reel um, also with my toadfish rod, it's the six foot eight medium extra fast action. Awesome rod. Right now, just a small little split shot and a size two hook. So I chummed up the water a little bit. Let's see how it goes. First cast. The tide is coming in. It's moving pretty fast, so I might have to put another split shot on it. Okay, everyone, we're gonna have a little challenge here. Mud crab or muscle? What you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let's go ahead and try it. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna cast out the muscle and I'm just gonna let, sit the rod down. And what I'll do, I'll just be watching it. Okay, the muscle's out. Okay, I set the rod down. Okay, so I casted out the muscle. It's on that rod right there. Now I'm gonna use a mud crab. right there I'm using two split shots on this one on the muscle I'm actually using a 3 8 ounce egg sinker all right let's see round one got my first fish and honestly guys I didn't even feel a bite first fish on the mud crab mud crab one oyster nothing I didn't even feel this fish bite wow that's why they call these guys the convicts they steal your bait so fast and you don't even know you wouldn't know oh, it's maybe 12 let's check them out Alright guys, he is 12 and a half. He's a keeper. Alright guys, what you see me doing is breaking up these oysters, chumming up the water. So now I get a whole handful and I'll just chuck them out. To attract some fish I hope so
Okay, got my second mud crab. Like I said, so far, mud crab one, muscle, nothing. I feel like somebody's watching me. You guys ever get that feeling of someone watching you, like you being watched, you're being stalked? Turn around, this guy is scaring me. Oh, now you want to look away, huh? All right, guys, hooked into another one. Man, this guy's pulling pretty good. Come on. There you go. I see you. Oh, he's a nice one. About 13, 14. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about 14. Finally, moving around, bouncing around, looking for them, and I got them. Let's take a quick measurement. Okay, everyone, he's 14 inches. Nice. Okay, I just had another good bite. So now that I had two good bites in a row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chum up the water with this. I'm just looking for a rock to bust it up crack open this, the uh, oysters and just chum up the water that way look into another one small little guy yep small one okay like I said just a little dude. Going back. Try it again. I got another one. Oh, this guy's even smaller. Come on. Come on, where's your daddy? Where's your mom? Where's your big brother? Little guy. I'm back all right guys got another one i chummed up that water and look my first cast Ooh, hear that reel yeah it's a nice one. Oh yeah oh yeah that's a nice one Swallow that hook. He was hungry. All right, I gotta cut the line. All right, I cut that line. Let's take a quick measurement. I'm gonna say he's about 14 and a half, maybe 15. Pinch tail. He's he's gonna be he's 14 and a half. He pinches tail. Awesome. Awesome fish. All right, guys, that's number three. All right, hooked into another one. Small. Small, but man, these guys still fight. Yeah, too small. Nice little guy. Going back. Look into another small one. There he goes. Another small guy. Oh, 
Another small one. I tell you what, guys, every single one has been on a mud crab. I've had not one bite on the mussel yet. Another one. Still think small. Man, he's cold. I don't know, he's a, yeah, he's a little small. Let's take a measurement, but I think he's maybe 11. All right, guys, he is, yep, exactly like I said. 11 inches. Throw him back. Okay, hook him to another one. This guy's fighting like a keeper. He's a keeper. Man, lucky me, he fell right in between those rocks. He ain't going nowhere. Okay guys, just got this one. He's 13. Nice keeper. That's four. Okay, I can't believe that I have, have not gotten a bite on the muscle. I'm still using the same muscle I started with. Not one bite. And all the sheep that I'm catching are small little mud crabs. Look how tiny they are. So I'm putting two on the hook. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty bright. And I'm only casting maybe, I don't know, 10 yards. At least 10 yards. Maybe not even that. Another one. Yeah, another small guy. I don't know. I've got four, I have four keepers, and I believe I threw back at least four more. So, so far, total today on mud crabs, eight sheep's head, mussels, zero, nothing. All right, we're done with. Spot number one. I caught a total of nine sheep's head, four keepers. I threw the others back. They were only about nine, ten inches. You know, some shorties. So you got thrown back. Actually, the action stopped. So I'm moving on to spot number two. If nothing there, then time for me to go home because I got to get ready for work. Okay. I'm at spot number two. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. The wind is picking up, so. Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can see. A lot of rocks down there. A lot of rocks. So hopefully, hopefully in this spot, I'll catch a nice 17, 18 inch sheep's head. All right, hook my first, my first sheep head. Spot number two. Check it out. It's a shorty. Short guy. This is my 10th sheep's head of the day. All right, looking for something else. Something small. Yeah, another small sheep. A small one. Be 
it goes. See you. Size small. Oh my gosh. The smallest one of the day. And he went after I had a big mud crab on. And he went after it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Smallest one. I can't believe he went after that big old mud crab. Look at that. It's not even the size of my hand yet. Oh well, go home. Hey everyone. Okay, I'm done. It's time for me to go home. Actually, it's time for me to go to work. It's pretty late. Didn't see the time and um, you know how it is when you're fishing, you don't pay attention to time. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of late. I gotta rush home, get ready for work. So um, today, Again, I used some mud crabs. I had some mussels. I had that challenge, you know, what was better? Uh, what would sheep said actually go for quicker? The crabs or the mussel? Well, I caught around 10, 11 sheep's head. And every single sheep's head that I caught was on the mud crabs. Didn't catch anything on the mussels, not even a bite. So think for now on I'm just gonna leave the muscles behind when I see them so just focus on the uh, mud crabs so guys uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please shoot me a sh uh, thumbs up um, please like and share the video and till next time tight lines everyone bye